How's it going friends? It's Elise here and today I'm going to be sharing a full-on fridge tour with you and I'm so excited because this is the very first fridge tour video in this new home here in Colorado. Also, this is my very first refrigerator that I kind of have to myself. So I'm so excited to share what I have filled it with with you. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So this is the inside of my fridge and if you didn't already watch um, a video that I recently shared um, about everything is changing that included my diet update, you're probably going to want to watch that to know why the heck my fridge looks like this in comparison to the way I used to eat a few years ago. So if you didn't watch that, I'll share it in the video description and if you did, then let's dive right in. Okay, so let's start all the way at the bottom of the fridge. In here is like my drawer of colorful things. So I have some yellow onions, I have some red onions down here, I have a pepper of each color. I think I'm gonna make a stir fry type of thing tonight, like a Mexican style something or other. I have two big heads of cauliflower, and I think my friend Carly, who's behind the camera, and I are gonna try and make some like buffalo cauliflower wings, which I am so excited about. And Silo is over here attacking the house. My little baby, we're trying to film a fridge tour. Do you want to be a part of it? Ah! <laughs> the next drawer is straight up kale. I have some like dark purple leaf kale and green leaf kale. I've been eating about one to two heads of kale a day, just cooked up in a fry pan with garlic and avocado oil. And that's why I have a lot of greens in here. Up here is also straight kale. We have the dinosaur kale and regular green kale. And then up here, we've got some celery, carrots, green onions, lots of cilantro. This is two full bunches of cilantro. I've been using it so often in guacamole. I like use literally like this much in a bowl of guacamole. And then we've got some standard spring mix in here. And then up here, we have two massive heads of rainbow chard. I've also been heating this stuff up with my kale and it's so Beautiful. I love the colored chard. Then we have some fluffy green leaf lettuce, which is my favorite. Honestly, I don't really like the boxed lettuce all too much. I really like the fluffy lettuce. And even more than this, I love the butter lettuce. And then up on the very top shelf, we've got some good old green juice and some Granny Smith apples, some asparagus soaking to keep it fresh. And of course, some berries. That's pretty much all of the produce that I have, as you can see. Now I want to talk about my staple condiments, which kind of make eating this much greens and this much veggies a little bit easier and more fun. So over here, I would say my biggest, actually, oh gosh, what's my biggest, <laughs> what is my biggest staple, tahini or coconut aminos? Let me know in the comment section which one you think I love more. Coconut aminos or tahini. I love them both, but I love one a little bit more. And then we've also got some other tahini up here, some raw almond butter. Artisana is like the highest quality nut butter brand that I know of, so good. Uh, also so delicious. I have this um, yogurt quite often. I've got some CBD that I just am trying out that my friend Amelia gave me. I've got some Pure Dime uh, probiotics and some, uh, some of this digestive enzyme, which I also recently got. So I guess those aren't staples, but these are... Oh, up top, we have some endive. If you've never tried endive, it's really cool. It's just like a leafy vegetable, and I like to dip it in guacamole or any sort of dips. And I also have some Go Raw chocolate squares up here, some lemon. Lemon and limes are such staples of mine. And then I have this little dish up here of garlic cloves. I've been a garlic addict lately, guys. Like, I don't know if I should tell you this, but like almost three cloves a day. That's like a lot of garlic. But I store all of that up here. And then Carly just told me that I needed to try this today. It is pretty good. Let me know if any of you guys are Kite Hill fans. And then I've been getting this quite often. Um, it's just kind of easier than cutting up tomatoes and onions and cilantro and all that. So I just mash up avocado, add this in, and there we have guacamole. Then we've got some apple cider vinegar, some pellegrino. I really love the tiny ones, they're so cute. And when I have the larger ones, they normally get flat like halfway through. So I like the tiny ones. And then we've got some unsalted mac nuts, some freshly cooked quinoa, 
Moving down over here is some of my like detox stuff, basically to help me detox heavy metals and such. And then of course coconut aminos, some unsweetened almond milk. Um, I'm about to make some homemade hemp milk, but I kind of keep this as a backup for when I run out and I still want milk in my tea. And then of course we've got all the suppositories, all the branch chain amino acids, protein suppositories. And that pretty much sums up what is in my fridge right now. I'm also gonna show you some other things that are not in my fridge. They're like on a little fruit rack, so let's go. Okay, so over here is my cute little fruit rack. And I basically just have lemons, limes, avocados. Once my avocados are ripe, which honestly, most of these up top are ripe and ready to go, either I will use them in guacamole or I will put them in the fridge so that they stay at the ripeness that they are at. Hello, I teleported to the floor with my puppy. <laughs> He's being a little rascal, but I really wanna finish this video for you. So we're gonna do it together, aren't we? <laughs> okay. So down here I have a few sweet potatoes and then in this whole box is about 10 unripe avocados. They're getting ripe in here and they are from a company called Avocado Organics. Super high quality, they taste really different and like more dense and flavorful than the ones up here that I got from Whole Foods. So that is the extent of my little fruit rack. So of course this fridge looks really beautiful because everything is just out and exposed and green. So this is what it looks like just for the fridge tour video and this is what it looks like normally. <laughs> so this is what my fridge looks like the majority of the time. I store everything in these green bags and have been for years now. They are magical, honestly. There are a couple different brands of them, but I'll link the one down below that I've been using for so long. They keep produce fresh for way longer than if you just had it out in the fridge or even in the drawers that are supposed to be like temperature controlled to keep things fresh for longer. Honestly, I could go probably a week or so without eating the greens in these and they are still fresh and they're remarkable. So as you can see, I literally have like everything stored in green bags. And that's pretty standard for me. And recently, um, I guess at my last house I lived at, I started using clothes pins to close these instead of like the standard plastic pins that um, like we used when I was growing up, just cause it's a bit more eco-friendly. So that is a huge staple for me is using the green bags. I cannot recommend them enough. All right, friends, that is almost gonna wrap up my fridge tour video. Um, everything that I showed you in there will probably get me through about five to seven days of eating. And there are a few things that were not included in my fridge or my little fruit rack, things that I store in my pantry, things like grains and Mary's Gone Crackers, as you always see me eating. Um, yeah, just a few other items. I'll probably share a full on kitchen tour in the near future so that you can see all of the kitchen tools and appliances and stuff like that that I use regularly and also pantry items. So I think that's it for now. I hope that you enjoyed watching. I hope this was helpful for you. And I hope that you know that my fridge does not always look like that. My fridge is not always stocked. In fact, I tend to go to the store to get food every one to four days. Um, I really don't do like weekly food hauls um, anymore like I used to years ago. I guess I feel that I just ebb and flow through different phases. I used to love weekly food hauls and it worked really well for me with my schedule, being in school and stuff like that years ago, but now I have a more flexible schedule and honestly, I so enjoy going to the grocery store to pick up food, so I do it quite often. Just wanted to fully be transparent with you. All right, friends, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with any of your friends, family, acquaintances who you think would love to see a fridge tour like this, anyone who needs to be inspired to eat a little bit healthier. And again, if you didn't watch my diet update video, I'm gonna share that in the video description and we'll share it after this one. So that's it for now. I love you and I'll see you soon.